Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, family, depending with where you're watching me from. You're watching me from East Africa, Kenya, and here it's Baby Caro. In case you are viewing it and you haven't subscribed, kindly do so for more and more amazing video. Today is, uh, today is actually is on a Sunday, and uh, yeah, the sun is uh, coaching around. It's too hot, and yeah, some people right now, they are in the church. This is a neighboring church here. Yeah, today is on a Sunday. So some are at the church. Some went yesterday on um, Saturday. Yeah, because there are those who go on Saturday and there are those who go on Sunday. Yeah. If you are coming across and you haven't subscribed, kindly do so. You are watching me from East Africa, Kenya. Here is Baby Caro for you. And actually yesterday, yesterday it was um, the burial day they they had to to lay Kiza's brother to to rest in peace and uh yeah everything went well and uh, may his soul continue resting in peace yeah thank you so much for all your prayers because i know like most of you prayed for Kiza's family Kiza K.E.'s family thank you so much and uh May God continue blessing you. And for all the people who wished me condolence, thank you so much. And may God bless you so, so much. Yeah, so everything went nicely yesterday. Actually, yesterday we were not here. We were not here at the construction site. Yeah, we had to go to the burial by... It was by 10 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, and it got over by... Uh, it was around 5 p.m. in the evening yeah so we couldn't manage to reach here and uh, but uh, we had like uh, made everything arrangements on how they are going to eat yeah like everything was um, well prepared and uh, the goodness of uh, our muscles even if you leave for them work like that without uh, supervision they usually do it so so well so so well like they can work without supervision they are the best and uh, i really love them because uh, actually yesterday they did some amazing work and uh yeah today they are also here and uh though today there's not that plenty of work yeah but i'd seen them collecting some sand here on the other side let me get one of them to say hi it's just over here it's trying to collect some ballast on top of our, our wheelbarrow Emmanuel hello say hi hi hello guys yeah. I'm as you can see yeah I can see yeah. these small stones yeah yeah man. We're going to mix it with some cement. We're going to mix it with some cement yeah. and sand. Yeah. So that they can mend that post, you know. Oh, Actually. post. Yeah. Oh, that the, post, the one yeah. the, in the... The one that we chased this. Oh, yeah. We think they want to to mix some cement here together with the balance so that they can put on the some post here. Actually, we fence it, but we want to do some repair. Some repair? Yeah, wow. we want to repair it. Wow. So that it becomes strong. Yeah. yeah. That's some nice work. Thank you. It's heavy? No. Yes, no. As a man, you yeah. have to struggle, you know? Yeah. yeah. Nothing comes on a silver plate. Eh? Yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe I can try it? Maybe, yeah, you can. You can, okay. actually. Try. Let me try so that is it. Actually, this ballast has stayed here for more than more than three months, I think. So it's somehow like stuck because the rain usually comes rain it on top of it. So you get like you see the sand has completely stuck on it. Let me try. Wow, just slow, slow. <laughs> Just take a little. Just small, small. Yeah. Just small, small. Wow. 
Yeah, that's that's for woman. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but actually, it's not coming on top. <laughs> just, just a little. That way, that way. Wow. Now you can be an engineer, actually. You know how to do it. Yeah, you know how to do it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, the window is almost full, as you can see. It's almost full. Yeah. You have to make it until it becomes yeah. a heap. Uh, until it becomes a heap. Oh. I'm surprised that you know this work. Huh? Really? Yeah. And I've never oh, done that's it. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, but that's I amazing. think those people who do this work. They are very strong because actually it's not that easy. You are strong too. Huh? But so sunny. Yes. But why, why, why is it that you are not sweating? Sweating? Yeah, you, you have to sweat like me. No? The, the back is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, actually the black t-shirt, I think... Uh, it usually absorbs Absorb heat, heat. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So right now at the back, I can feel it. It's uh, there's some water. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> let me help you, eh? let me help you. Eh, it's not that easy. It's completely easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's too sunny. Yeah. We have to, to do it first. Yeah. Before it is rain, you know? Yeah. It's raining. It's a raining season. Yeah. So we, we are competing with the time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I want to do it quick. Very quickly. Yeah. yeah. Actually, it really rained yesterday, so I think today it can also rain. But I think these people who work like a in construction, yeah, the masons, they are really like trying their best. It's not that easy. Yeah, they really like they are hard working. Because right now it has stuck here. So you have to use a lot of force so that it can come out. This some nice work, so I think I'll leave you for some few time. I want to prepare some nice, nice meal right now. Yeah, so that you can eat. Because I know right now they are very hungry. Actually, it's almost 12 noon. It's 11 a.m. right now, and the sun is too hot. Why yes. can't you not hmm? in the hmm? I see you how I will mix it with the sun. Oh. Yeah. Let me try if I can carry it. Yeah, you can, you can. <laughs> this thing won't Nothing fall. is possible. That's a spade. It so won't fall. It won't fall. Okay. Wow. Slow, 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 slow. You are taking it. Which side? That Rather? side. Oh, I've seen the sun. It's there on the front. So let me help you. Yeah, but riding it, it's not that uh, heavy. So this okay. some sand with some ballast. So okay. you I'm want going to mix it? Another one yeah. So that to be enough. You know? Oh, the ballast. I want to balance it with the sand. So this. Oh, so it needs like two wheelbarrows. Yeah, this this hand I I I brought like three wheelbarrows. Yeah. So this one to be more. One oh. to 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 bring around three. Three trips. Yeah, to oh. be four plus okay. this one. Yeah. Okay, maybe you can go back. Mm -hmm. So these are wheelbarrow. Actually, it's usually help in uh, making the work easy. Because when maybe you have some cement and it's uh, maybe a, a far distance, 
you can use it, put them here and ride it to the place where you want to. Like right now you can see it's helping in carrying the, the ballast. Let me turn it. So actually right now I wanted to put some maize on the sun so that they could, uh, you know, dry up. Then we go to the portion maize. You see, that one which we grinded, it's over. It won't be enough for today, so there's some maize here. So I have like a, take them on the sun to dry. Just taking the one which will, uh, you know, fit the, the this bucket. Those are like, uh, we call them, we usually use uh, something called kasuku to measure it. Yeah, so when you go to the portion mill, you pay, you pay the price according to the number of kasukus which you have put inside the bucket. So we usually close it tight like this so that we all cannot, you know, enter inside and start chewing the maize. Yeah, so want to put it on the sun to dry these are some weevils and you know when it starts like this you usually have to put it on the sun so that it can dry up and chase the weevils away so i think i'll have to use oh my god see these are rats see they have made many holes <laughs> there's a hole here there's another hole here you can see it and maybe when you can do like this it can bite your hand there's another hole there are like so many there's another one here and you know the funny thing they usually dig when you sweep here tomorrow you'll come again find a very big heap of soil so this one we had uh, swept it but again it has formed so again when you sweep it today tomorrow again you'll find a, a heap of soil yeah so they have like uh, many holes they disappear they come with another one they disappear come with another one so i'm looking for i'm looking for a sack which i'll use for drying the maize outside yeah actually it's very hot outside so when you put the maize it will like dry so so quickly so I've already poured a few of the maize here. These are these are small basins. So I'm going to add I'm going to add another one. So you should uh. put it like this so that it can dry up. You see the weevils disappearing. Right now you can see them, they are walking. Yeah, they are walking. But when they, you put them on the sun, the weevils disappear. They don't love sun. Yeah. So that's good when uh, you have maybe a stock of uh, a maize sack. You have at least uh, to dry it once in a week so that it cannot even start to get rotten. When it's been a moist place for so long, they start getting rot. So it's good when you air like this outside on the sun to dry. So meanwhile, I think I'll go. Today, actually, we are going to the kitchen garden. It has been a while since I plucked the onions. I'd left them sometimes so that they could grow. I want some water. Let me use this. I 
we are going to the kitchen garden it's just on the other side today we gave it some time so that the onions could grow up yeah so we have been buying some onions you know when you pluck it daily it usually gets uh completed so you have at least to give it an allowance so that it can grow so we are going here welcome to our kitchen garden looks so so nice see the coriander oh it has grown so tall so the carrot is coming out very well soon it will start producing right now it hasn't produced yet yeah it usually takes some time this one actually we had removed it again for the second round yeah so just want to pick some small onions so that we can fry today we have only kales we have only kales for today with some fresh avocado i'm going to show you today we have a jackpot when you find a good avocado you usually say you've uh, got a, a jackpot yeah it usually help in uh, at least uh, making the meal sweet not taking plenty i think this one is enough so let's use this path here this is our shortcut to the other side Here we go. Oh, and Manu has already mixed the ballast. You've already mixed? Nope. I'm oh. just enlarge it so mm. that for what I want to enlarge it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring a, a cement. Yeah. Then I start mixing. Okay. Sand, these small stones. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, as you can see. Mm -hmm. I will use just water around. Oh yeah. Me here. But then there's some water inside yeah. the bowl. So, yeah. There's some water. I will just find myself. Let me help you in fetching water. Just some. Um, the bowl is just here. You know this bucket is usually heavy, it's like you are carrying 20 liters from, you are trying to pull 20 liters. Yeah, let me put my onions here. You know it's not that easy to, to bring the ballads from there, bring it to, till this point, you bring the sand. Actually they get tired. Again bending like this on the borehole, it makes you more tired. Yeah. So I'm doing like this so that the bucket can be full. To like throw it. Right now he has gone to pick some cement. Oh my god. It's poured on my Let me close here. It can even fall inside. Oh, you brought some cement. Yeah. I got my it? onions. I'm going to wash them so that they can be clean. This one is going to. I will use this, only this one. Only one? 50, 50 kg. Mm -hmm. Cement. Two. Three wheelbarrows of yeah. sand. Yeah. Four wheelbarrows of those small stones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one. It will same. be enough. I really love yeah. your shoes. Yeah, these, these are working shoes. You yeah, know? they are good. Like, uh, yeah, you know, they can shoes. prevent you from, you know, maybe if you are wearing slippers. The cement is usually not that good for the skin, right? Yeah. Yeah, it can like uh, destroy you. But when you have gumboots, these one almost resemble the gumboots. 
Yeah. Like they protect you. going to mix it so there's the one that's usually stuck inside yeah so usually a bit like this oh yeah wow you shake it yeah? so that it can mix with the balance wow oh that's a nice touch yeah like you remove everything Don't from inside. Waste. Yeah, yeah, no waste. Wow. No waste. Yeah. So I'm going to mix it. Yeah. I'm going to mix it as you say. You spread it well. Mm -hmm. For his mixing. Yeah. Just to spread it well. His mixing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Chacha Junior. Today I want to mix concrete here. Wait to show you.
Yeah, so right now we want to prepare some nice ugali. Yeah, they're still mixing the cement on this side. And I want to light my fire here on the other side. And actually I wanted to put this uh, piece of iron sheet. I wanted to cut it into a small piece so that it can fit inside here. You know, it rained. It rained so it's kind of wet. Yeah, so lighting up the fire it usually becomes uh, very hard so i wanted to lay this piece of iron sheet down here then light up my fire so i was trying to cut it this way like this actually this is the piece of i don't know how it's called but the muscles they were using it to cut while they were fixing the roofing so i borrowed them to see if i can you know try cutting it and i think i I have to be careful it's kind of sharp I've never used it it's my first time so. it's kind of look like a, a scissor because the scissor is actually like cut off with this This part here. I want to eat. I want it to remain a small size. So that it can fit from the inside here. Thank you. Actually, it's not that easy. And if you're not careful, the iron sheet can end up cutting you because it's kind of sharp. You know, see the goodness of these shoes. If you could have stayed barefooted, it could have cut you. They are so strong. I love them. Be careful it doesn't cut you. You know it's sharp at the edges. Yeah. Tell the people who do roofing, it's not that easy. I've tried cutting it, and uh, with this uh, piece of nini, it really requires like a lot of force. Yeah, I think this is okay. It's okay. Yeah, thank you. This one is okay. It's not that easy to use this thing. These people, I think they are very skilled because they cut it like a, you know, it's like a scissor you're trying to cut a paper. They do it smoothly until you can think it's easy. It's not easy. They are very skilled. So I wanted it to be like this so that when I light up my fire, it, uh, you know, becomes easy because it rained last night and uh, it's kind of wet from the downer part. Yeah, so I'm going to pick some firewood here. Let me return to them. Yeah. I'm going to remove the firewood from here. Then we are going to light up our fire. Then prepare something we call ugali. Ugali. Yeah. So I'm from the potion mill. And uh, yeah, my water is ready here. And it's coming out so, so well. And the goodness I love with firewood, it usually cooks very faster. Yeah, I've already done preparing the eggs, I've prepared the kales, and we also have some nice avocado. So, and uh, today also I have a, uh, I'll be roasting a maize here. Yeah, it's a uh, very sweet. So this is the flour which had remained. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to. 
where it's like this. And uh, we have a cooking stick here. So I'm just going to spread it like this. And we have now our flour here, which uh, we got grinded for the potion meal. Remember the maize which I had put there to dry up? Yeah, I went to the potion meal and uh, grinded some the maize. So we have our maize flour right here. So I want to prepare some nice ugali. And today, Cherry, we are a very big family. Yeah. So two people are not there. But uh, we'll still preserve for them their meal. We are almost 10 by the way. Yeah, today we are many. Yeah, so I'll preserve some, some ugali for two people. The kales and also the eggs. Yeah, so stay tuned. Yeah, so the muscles actually they are on the inside part. They are trying to shape up the kitchen. The kitchen together with the sink. Yeah. So they are from the inside part, that's why today I'm not seeing them here outside. Yeah, and on the other side they are also trying to mix some cement together with ballast. And uh, let me put some food. So I'm going to do like this. Actually, today we are preparing a very huge ugali. We have to add some flour. Then we later leave it for some time so that it can cook. On the other hand, to use this plate here to break this small crumb. Yeah. No, you have to use a lot of force so that you do. I usually prefer using this one when uh, you are preparing some big ugali. Using this one is uh, much easier than using this one. So I do like this with this plate. Then I use a cooking stick to turn it. Like this. Right 
now our deli is ready and we are going to remove it from the fire this is our final result so i want to use this uh, small plate here for shaping it to remove it from the fire let me turn like this so that you can hear I'm putting it on the plate Today the ugali is huge. Now that is it to cook a big ugali. Yeah. Trying to give it the round shape. So I'm going to bring the kales. They are ready. It looks like a cake. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. And it's smelling actually so well. So let me close like this so that it can't get cold. Meanwhile, as I bring the plates, so right here we have some nice avocado. So these are of the same tree, these are different tree. Yeah, so I'm going to cut them. I've washed them. Yeah. Let's see how they look like. This one I was already cut when I was at the market, and the owner told me it's good. <laughs> so let's cut these other ones. Tada! I'm going to remove these. These. So these are our avocado here. Unfortunately, this one is not ripe. I think it will stay till tomorrow so that it can ripen. Our girl is still hot and our kales and our fried eggs oh scrambled these scrambled eggs so i'm going to arrange the plates and actually so we are going to serve the whole meal because uh, everyone right now is here yeah we we're waiting for some but right now they have arrived so so we are going to serve for everyone so we are Having plate here. So I'm going to start with the eggs. <laughs> He's running away. Adagnas just come. Come and eat. <laughs> he was removing the this thing actually. It's usually very sweet. So he has ran away. You have seen me putting the camera on and he ran. But people usually love eating this. Very sweet. So I'm going to cut our garlic.
have to serve faster before the flies come. Yeah, these ugali. ugali. So I'm going to call them so that they can eat. And we have, they'll be picking some nice avocado here. Yeah, so stay tuned. Let me call them. Still cutting ugali. We are in the lab. Hello, welcome back, family. Everyone is ready. And uh, actually, it's almost raining right now. And uh, yeah, so I wish to end my video right here. And thank you so much for watching it till this point. May God bless you so, so much. On the other side the maize is roasting here yeah, so thank you so much for watching and may god bless you and uh, also we'll meet on tomorrow's video same place just right here and big big love from this side if you haven't subscribed to baby caro kindly do so you're watching me from east africa kenya and thank you thank you so much for always supporting us may god bless you bless you bless you and never lack yeah, we love you from this side. And it's time I tell you bye-bye. Till tomorrow. Bye. Hasta la vista. Ciao, ciao. And uh, namaste. I love you from this side.